Hey, welcome to Coffee with Pips. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to make rice balls, also known as arancini. And that, these are Sicilian rice balls, and I'm doing it all myself. Let's get into it right now. So I made the rice ahead of time. I have another batch in. I'm using Italian breadcrumbs. Progresso is a great brand. I like Progresso. Now we're going to put the beef in the pot and we're going to brown it. So I'm just going to put the two and a half pounds here. I'm going to put the whole two and a half pounds in. Whatever we don't use, we can use it as something else. Now we're going to brown it nicely. I'm seasoning the rice now, so I already got ahead of myself. I have some basil, salt, pepper, and just season it to taste. I don't like to use too much pepper. That's enough. And then I'm going to mix it all together. Yeah, I almost forgot I put garlic powder and some onion powder in there too. Sorry. I'm going to let it cool, so and then I'm going to add some eggs and ricotta to this. So now the beef is nice and browned and we're ready to go. Now you know with the beef and we're going to put peas in it too and some mozzarella. But you put very little of that those ingredients inside the rice balls. And now my beef is all brown. I put some peas in it. I'm going to put some more. You're supposed to use frozen peas, but of course I got peas right off of the shelf in the can. And you have to be really careful if you do that so you don't mush them all up when you stir it. So you're going to take some pasta sauce. You can buy that right on the shelf. You don't have to make it homemade for this. And then you're going to just dump a little of it in. You don't want to make it too soupy. And then we're going to stir it again. I have a lot of beef here, so I think I'm going to have to use actually more. So just take it slow, add what you need. This is 24 ounces. You know, I am going to use the whole jar because it's a little, might as well. Remember what I told you about if you have leftovers. So I can use this for pasta and meat sauce. My second batch of rice is almost done. I'm using my handy dandy Black & Decker rice cooker. Now it's better if the rice is cold. However, I didn't have that luxury of time. I need to take these to work in the morning. Now you'll add ricotta. I'm having Jane do this for me. And then we're going to sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese. And we're going to use just a little salt, just like Jane did in her hand. You don't want to make it too salty. And some pepper. I'm going to add a little onion powder. Some garlic powder. Now, you know what? It's just... It's without a recipe. You're just going to do this. Italians don't cook with recipes. Every family does it different. Some people use saffron and make the rice yellow. Some people put extra sauce in the rice and becomes orange. We're not going to see all those different colors once you've bread them. Mix the rice really good. Get all that seasoning through the entire bowl of rice. I would have made a mess and Jane would have gotten crabby. We don't want that, do we? God forbid. Keep mixing, Jane. Keep mixing. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. And we're done. Done with this part of it. Now we're going to be shaping the ball and putting the meat in the middle and breading and then frying. This is how we used to do it. You're not getting in as much meat. Oh, well, I guess you do. But then you have to play with it a little bit and they can be a lot bigger doing it this way. Wow. Do you like doing it like that? It's faster than the concoctions. Well, let's do that then. I thought you were doing this by yourself. 
I was doing it by myself, but since you have the gloves on, it's my non-recipe. Jane's making them way too big. Jane, slow down a little bit. Don't make me kill you. Don't make you kill me? You said that on video? Mm -hmm. If anything ever happens to me, blame Jane. Jane did it. We have made about 20 rice balls, but they're pretty big. These are actually big. You know what? Jane had me doing this off camera. So you see all the ones that aren't really perfectly shaped? Yeah, those are mine. I got rice sticking all over to my hands. She made me wear gloves, which I never do. Okay, here's the seasoned breadcrumbs with some added Parmesan cheese. I know Jane is going to bread these. You have your egg wash here. And you're coating the whole entire uh, rice ball. You shape it a little better now. It looks nice. Hopefully we have enough breadcrumbs. We have more. Oh, we have more. Jane said we have more. So those are gonna go into this. And now we're in the frying mode. And this is really kind of the easy part. You just wanna get oil all splashed on you. So you want to put too many in the pan at once. You don't want to overcrowd. So you want them to cook and brown evenly. You can use a fry baby or fry daddy, whatever you call it, if that works better for you. This is just right in a pan with oil. And there you have it. Nice, perfect, homemade rice ball. I say arancini, but it's arancini. So, I don't speak Italian. So here's a real test. Oh, you see the mozzarella cheese is all melted. See the peas and the meat in there. I don't like actually uh, marinara sauce or anything over uh, my rice balls. I like to eat them just like this. Oh, hot. You are absolutely delicious. Ah, these are absolutely Delicious. Outstanding. So there you have it. I'll put a link in the description below to a rice ball recipe um, that I do like. I haven't made it, but it looks pretty good. But I don't use a recipe. Like I said, um, a lot of Italians, a lot of Sicilians just do it by just by watching your grandmother or your mom or and I'm sure other cultures do as well, but that's how we do it. So thanks for coming along, everybody. I really do appreciate you visiting, and I'll see you next week.